Hello everybody, it's the Sydney Matt Haven here today. And exactly as you guys saw, hold the line. This is the 60 TP. A tank that has been in the game for a long time and probably needs some love in all honesty. Um, there's a lot of tanks in game and there's also newer tanks coming inside the game that are kind of just making this tank feel a little bit inadequate. For instance, the Turan that just got dropped that can do a thousand damage every single 14 seconds. Or uh, 268 version 5 with a 4E rotatable turret, a lot of mobility, better still concealment, same view range, and just a lot more advantages, especially with 395 heat pin. Um, the 60 TP has slowly started to fall back, but the thing is, it doesn't mean that it cannot perform. So, you guys, let's go ahead and dive into this replay. Now, I know I'm a slacker. I took a break, came back. I was angry. You know, artillery 2.0, 3D audio. That's so good, right? Also, I had to fix my green screen because it's falling apart because, you know, I haven't been maintaining it because I'm not recording, not streaming. I've also got to clean. My room's a mess. So there is that. Now, I decided to start playing tanks about five days ago, you know, like the two days after I made uh, the T-44 video and getting back into it and playing a little bit. So I decided to play tanks that are a little bit underrated. Uh, 60 TP is definitely one of those tanks. So yeah, yeah, there we go. So 60 TP, this is definitely one of my favorite tanks inside the game just because I, I free XP'd it whenever it first came out. I got the... Polish Defender, which is the uh, 50 TP prototype. I three marked the 50 TP prototype and I put a lot of time into it. I absolutely love the way that the Polish are put together because they're made to have heavy armor, defend an area, lock down, and just do everything that you can. Now, this is going to show off just how slow this tank can be. It's definitely slow. You know, we're going 20 uphill and everyone just seems a little bit confused in what they're doing. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this replay seems like it has a lot more color to it. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you feel the same way. I think uh, whenever OBS did their update, they changed a couple of my settings, and I'm a little bit like, uh-oh about it. Or I changed them during a stream one day and never changed them back because I'm a Muppet. That's, that's probably what it is. It's probably number two. I, I'm a Muppet at times, or 99% of the time. But, when it comes down to tanks, I, I have dumb luck. <laughs> so, you guys, if you're struggling, or for instance, if things are going on, jump inside the World of Tanks Discord and start putting down in the voting pools that they put up. For instance, you know, put up the artillery. Um, whenever I do mine, I'm probably going to be using uh, my group post for my YouTube to just tell everyone, hey, I'm going to be putting this up if you want to jump in there. Put a vote on it to try and help implement it a little bit. That would be nice and all. But... There's only so much that we can do as the player to really influence what the devs are going to be doing in the game. Now, for everyone who doesn't know, Pain God is going to be leaving. He says that he's uh, leaving Wargaming after the 10 years that he's been with them. So there is that. So, 60 TP. This tank is definitely one of the tanks that it has kind of fallen down a tad bit whenever it first released. I did put up a buff post over on uh, the World of Tanks Discord saying what they can do to possibly bring this back into uh, a little bit more competitive game. And one of the biggest things is increasing the reload by 1.3 seconds to 1.8 seconds entirely, which will bring its reload down to 15 seconds or 14.8. Because, for instance, we got the 705, which has a reload of like... 13 seconds, 14 seconds for 650 alpha, 100 less than this. But the thing is, it's able to deliver those shells a lot more often. And an extra two and a half seconds on your reload, in my opinion, is just not beneficial. Along with that, you have to use two pieces of equipment to be able to actually use the advanced reload mechanic, which originally on PC, we had they have intuition, while we have to use advanced reload over here in console to be able to benefit from that at all, which does kind of suck, the fact that it's a entire piece of equipment that we have to use, instead of being able to use like vertical stabilizer, which this tank does feel like it needs it a little bit of close quarters, but I don't want to sacrifice that reload, because if I drop it down, it's like a 17.8 second reload, and you know, the time in between shells, it's a very long time in between them. And there we go, putting a shell on the side of the Type 4. 
right there. We we just I decided to uh, focus at the side cheeks because if you hit the side cheeks, that's where the ammo rack is located inside Type Fours. Gonna be loading in the HE real quick, and uh, there we go. Badger taking down the Type Four. Now this match does take a massive turn of events as it slowly starts to go into. So far, it's 13 to 12. You know, we're already up to 4,000 damage dealt, 1,400 blocked. And, you know, already this this match kind of seems like it's in the bag a little bit. You know, like we're a little bit comfortable right here. Side scraping tanks and the reason why I love to load HE shells. Um, there's a lot of streamers and other people that have been watching over the past couple of weeks. And I've noticed that a lot of them don't even take high explosives. Uh, for instance, even if you're using a 120 millimeter, you could have splashed him for 10 damage coming around right there. And I probably could have angled better right there, but that's a fair trade. The 400 he does to me compared to the 700 I do to him. You know, that, that, that's a good trade in my opinion. Let's go ahead and start backing up. And there's the track. We're going to prepare the track and immediately get splashed by a 4005 and ammo racked. Ouch. So now our ammo racks out for the next minute. We're not going to be able to repair it. Our reload is 30 seconds long. This is just, oh no. I have no idea where to go. Um, kind of going to take a risky play here. Really wondering what I should do. And as I'm thinking about it, I'm just going to full send it and do a drop off. There we go. Hopefully the track lands. And yep, we took no damage from that drop off because we angled the tad bit to make sure our tracks were locked in place. Pull it up to take a look at the E5, and... Come on, this one's got to be a good hit. Please? No, we... probably I probably could have taken a little bit more time out to aim that. A lot of the times, I, I, I've been rushing my shots, especially in situations like, like this. It's down to 5 to 8 already. You know, we went from... Having a one tank advantage, a very decent amount of hit point advantage to getting ammo racked and getting forced back extremely far. You know, matches can take massive turns like this extremely quickly. But even though we're ammo racked, or was ammo racked, having the advanced reload allows me to swap shells without ever needing to sacrifice my reload. And that right there is a huge advantage to help you maintain... Um, your overall DPM and decide what you want to fire next and even if you're Amorak, advanced reload makes a big difference and intuition would be extremely nice to have in the game rather than advanced reload because advanced reload is probably one of the most broken pieces of equipment in all honesty in the game for bigger tanks and the number one reason why is because you're able to utilize your DPM to the fullest inside bigger tanks with bigger guns you know you see a lightly armored target you can swap into a high explosive with no punishment at all for swapping ammunition because you swap freely with you know there's no interclip reload whenever you're swapping around it's just an instant swap right here i'm trying to call out to the t-54 to fall back to go defend the base because you know there's an enemy on the base right now currently um more than likely it's one of the heavy tanks because we just barely saw on our left, I believe we saw the other heavy. In front of us, we have the Rosarante high explosives. They are nice to be able to, uh, you know, take down tanks of flow health. Really, it, they're number one when it comes down to that. Or splashing hull down tanks. And 60 TP, this thing is a defender, and it has got to be one of my favorite tier tens in the entire game. You know, it's not my number one, but it's really close. And as you guys can see, the Muppet Re hasn't stopped yet. I'm trying to get out of here and be able to continue down. And I pull straight into a bunker without ever looking, which... Now, there's 25 seconds left on the cap. And I made a mistake of pulling into the bunker. And now I have to go around the bunker rather than planning ahead of time and paying attention to what's going on. So, yeah. Talk about comfort, you know. <laughs> Pulling it a little bit close, and there we go. The medium tank's going to be pulling up into the cap, down to four seconds left on the cap. There we go. High explosives, guaranteeing the reset and also guaranteeing the kill. Now we got four, three, two. I actually, okay, no, I don't get that one. But the the main thing that you guys can take from this is, you know. The way our team was locked down in the back with the Yag Tiger and the E4 behind me, 
Um, I actually went through and uh, looked at the replay of this match whenever uh, it was done and over with because this was actually a really nice match to just have. I didn't really move around a whole lot, but we I was in a position where people just, you know, they didn't really focus me out or pay attention or until it was too late and they were a little bit more focused on taking down something else. So there's a lot of things that could have gone wrong, but with the way that the team was behind me, they allowed me to essentially work to try and get as much damage in as possible and keep up as much as I could. I honestly don't know what to say. This is not scripted. Nothing is scripted. Everything just is coming off the top of my head. But Mastery Badge, Defender Medal, along with a Second Mark of Excellence. I'm working on the third mark in this. And there is one thing that I do want to mention. Whenever you're looking at your post-game stats now, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have noticed this, um, no longer... Do we have like uh, cat point resets? So like whenever we come down here, we can see shots fired, block damage it received, direct damage, you know, assisted detections, enemies destroyed. A lot of really basic information on this list, but I, that's not what I want to see. I want to see the old statistic board come back because the old statistic board, it, that that's the one that stands out to me the most is the old board. Because with this new one that we have, I it's it's really hard to know what I did whenever it comes down to resetting a cap at the last four seconds. More than likely, that was like 92 points or maybe 80-something points because we did get a defender, so it was above 70. And it's just a little bit confusing to see. So I, I would like to see more statistics at the end of the game. And also, I would like to see an actual debuff on artillery because 3D audio is not a real debuff or anything like that. That just sucks a lot. Other than that, you guys, I'm back on tanks. I'm playing again. Um, thing is, though, is that YouTube and everything else, I'm, I'm working a, a lot to give you guys an idea. I should be at work right now, but I'm not because I have tonight off, but I technically don't have to stay off. I'm going in to swing shift today at 2 o'clock, 2 to 10, and then on Sunday, I'm going in on Graveyard. So I'm going from Grave to Swing back to Grave. And yeah, that's my brain hurts thinking about that. So other than that, you guys, have a fantastic day, night, afternoon, whatever time you're catching this. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Seriously, leave a comment. I enjoy seeing them. You guys have no idea how much I enjoy seeing them and replying to them or just... Honestly, just looking over, it puts a smile on my face. It really does. So until next time, see you guys in the battlefield. Um, artillery still sucks because it's not been fixed. And I would like to see the 60 TP get some love. Honestly, I think one of the biggest things that the 60 TP could benefit from would be maybe a 50 overall increase to its power to weight. That weight increases it by 0.7 or maybe it's like um, a 60 power to weight. I can't remember how much the tank weighs, but essentially increase the power to weight by 0.7 and then redo its concealment factor a little bit. Give it a little bit better concealment by maybe 10 meters, not a lot. And that's just to help kind of counteract the way that they've been buffing TDs over the past couple of months because the version 5, I still can't find when they buffed the 360 view range to 390, and I've gone through every single rework that they've done in the past year and a half or the past year. And I have not been able to find it. So other than that, you guys have a good time and I will catch you all later. I I'm, I'm done being a Muppet now. So